Hao, located in the northeast region of Bangladesh, which comprised of 19,998 square kilometers area and 13.55% of the total area of Bangladesh. During monsoon period, Howl is inundated for six to seven months of the year. 71% people of this region are agriculture farmers and they depend on only boro crop. Some are fishermen, but Howl people face different kinds of problem in two different seasons, one in monsoon and another in dry season. Flash flood is a big challenge in our areas. Lack of integrated communication system, lack of accessibility to the marketing system of general people, unemployment, gender imbalance, fishers right not established in wetlands, lack of proper market price of crop, etc. are common phenomena in our regions. In such situations, Howl Infrastructure and Livelihood Protection Project, HILIP, started implementation by LGED in July 2012 with the financial assistance of International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD, Spanish Trust Fund, STF, and GOB. HILIP is implementing in 28 Howl Upazilas of five Howl districts. Kishor Ganj, Netrokuna, Hobigonj, Shunamganj, and Brahmanbaria. Boro is the only crop which requires 145 to 150 days to ripe and harvest. But due to climate change frequently in each year, paddy field is totally inundated just before harvesting the crop because of flash flood that results in food scarcity in the Howard region that also affect the total country. To save the farmers, their crop and their resources, Hillip is introducing flash flood early warning system. Till date, nine killers are constructed in the project area and in this year, 120 metric tons of paddy saved from the loss caused by flash flood. Integrated communication system developed by HILIP through construction of submerged road through Howell people, carrying their crop and other materials within a short time with low cost. Roads are connected to different road system. This is playing a vital role in crop transportation from paddy field. After starting of HILIP activities, our people obtained a lifeline. They received training from HILIP. Women are having options of alternative income generating activities. Now members of Common Interest Group CIG are engaged in AIGA and they are earning member of the family. Within the five components of the HILIP project, the livelihood protection component is the most noteworthy. Utilizing the training provided Beneficiaries are participating in various production-based income-generating activities. With this support, women alongside men are now becoming self-sufficient. I have been LGD for a day and I have been working for a day. তাদের মতে আমাদেরকে প্রদর্শনী দেওয়া হয়েছে হিলিপ এলজিডি থেকে 15000 টাকা 15000 টাকা দিয়ে আমি 200 হাসের বাচ্চা কিনলাম আর কিছুদিনের জন্য খাবার কিনলাম তারপর থেকে শুরু হলো আমার হাসপালনের খামার এই হাসপালনের টাকার আয় থেকে আমার দুই কার জমিন কিনছি দুটো গরু কিনছি আর 3.5 লক্ষ টাকা দিয়ে আমার বাইকে বাইরে পাঠাইছি the community service walkway at the ward level and every other infrastructure constructed under supervision of the Hilly project has been built through setting up LCSS. As of now, in the project area, 223 km length of community road has been constructed. 113 km of Union Road has been constructed. 
60 kilometers of village internal road has been built. 80 kilometers of Upuzila road has been built. Up to 2021 meter of bridges and culverts at the Upuzila and Union level have been established. A total of 272 village protection walls that protect communities in the Hawa region from strong waves, Afal, have been built out of the expected 302. The village internal road has been laid over the length of this wall. Care has been taken to leave adequate space in front of each house so that inhabitants have the land to grow vegetables or raise poultry and livestock. 672 community latrines have been established. 272 tube wells been set up. Slope protection for Upuzila and Union roads have been undertaken along 18 kilometers of length. Nine irrigation channels have been constructed. The purpose of conducting these construction activities through LCSs include creation of work opportunities for our residents, involving locals with project activities to ensure quality, establishing local ownership of the established works. বিরিবাদের কাজে আমরা সাহায্য করেছি ডালাই কাজ আগে দিয়েছি পরে মশলা আগে দিয়েছি পানি আগে দিয়েছি আমাদের কাজের মাইনা দেওয়া হয়েছে ফুলাফান নিয়ে খুবই ভালো আছে Despite difficulties boat is the most convenient mode of transport in the monsoon season However these docks are unsafe for use due to the atypical landscape of the Hawa region Construction can only happen in the dry season, but the material has to be collected by water transport in the monsoon. At present, 20 docks have been constructed in the project area. Each of the docks now look like commercial ports. Busy activities involving buyers and sellers, export and import are now conveniently taking place at these locations. Developments have been undertaken inside the bustling marketplace at 51 locations out of 78. For the benefit of the customers and vendors, every marketplace now has tubules and sanitary latrines. 383 bills have been surrendered to the same number of bill management committees at this time. These bills have been leased out to local fisher folk committees through Hilly Project. Each committee has a mandatory quota that requires at least 30% of enlisted members to be female. <laughs> Members of the BUG are establishing sanctuaries in their assigned bills with project support in order to preserve natural fish and aquatic flora and fauna. The committee is also responsible for monitoring, maintenance and management of these sanctuaries. There is hope that these areas will become home a variety of native fish and bird species. The successful conservation of Howard's wildlife in this region already started. Hilip Kalip is providing a significant role in the Howard regions for developing community and communication infrastructure, community resources management, livelihood protection and capacity and knowledge for building resilience to climate change. This project is working for the targeted 
direct and indirect beneficiaries of 688,000 households and by this time 355,844 beneficiaries received direct benefit. The project will run up to June 2019. Expecting our people will have more and more benefit through interventions of different components of Halib Khalid and the day will come when the dream of our people will be fulfilled.